this is Riverside Park. Uh, the park uh, sets right along the Intercoastal River. Really a beautiful park here. They have the Christmas boat parade here in the Christmas time. You can come and watch it. But hey, we're going to walk around, take a look, see what we can find. I hope you enjoy. Follow along. Adopt a Park, New Smyrna Beach. This park is adopted by Next Generation Leeds, New Smyrna Beach, Southeast Volusia Chamber of Commerce. So you can adopt a park if you'd like. This is Riverside Park, New Smyrna Beach, Florida. This park lays right along the uh, intercoastal. And we'll just do a little walk around here and just uh, see what we can find. Got a little squirrel over here. Go squirrel. He's pretty close. He probably gets fed a lot of stuff here. Little scamper up the tree. Are you Chip or Dell? We get pretty close. You don't want to try to pick them up because they'll probably bite you. There he goes. Up the tree. A little squirrel sitting over here. That there is the bridge that goes over to beach side. There's actually two of them. This is the southern end of the uh, uh, causeway to the beach side. Beautiful, uh, well-maintained park. I don't know, like a gazebo over there. People out walking their dogs. Some people are just out exercising. like a veterans memorial here United States veterans they've got all these different plaques memorializing all kinds of different things. It looks like some infantry, World War. In Michigan. Looks like the uh, American Legion. And 
this side it says Department of the Army. And on this side over here, it says Department of the Navy. Got a real neat eagle right up on top. That's pretty cool. I love these uh, different memorials that they put out honoring our veterans. They have a lot of festivals here, like art festivals and craft festivals. They have places they can set up. Nice restrooms here. All well groomed, mowed up nicely. I can hear in the background there's people, landscape people working, they got their blowers running. Take a walk over here to this little unique looking, I don't know what you call it, it's not a statue, memorial. Let's just see what, what it is here. Looks like it's a uh, another memorial to maybe one of our veterans. Warning, black granite, hot and slippery, so. Pretty interesting uh, memorial. A little sign up here. In memoriam of George Alexander, Pauline George. Several other ones there. So I haven't quite figured out the whole thing. All oh, the Alpha. New Smyrna Memorial Odyssey. Actually, get a little echo. stained glass. Different plaques along the bottom here. Honoring different people.
It's actually a motel over here. Not sure what's in this building here. Let's uh, take a walk up here and see if we can peek in the window. Let's see what's in here. Could be administration, part of the county government. up here let's see what it says it's called Brandon Center tours by appointment only people doing their walking out here there's that memorial that we was in I still haven't figured out what it's memorializing but uh, maybe we can figure that out here a neat looking memorial Island out there. Some board boats moored out there. That's the South Causeway down at that end. You can go to the beach side two different ways. You can uh, take the causeway down there. I'm sorry, that was the North Causeway. This is the South Causeway. Where most people go beachside. Over at the uh, other causeway over here, that takes you into Flagler Avenue. A neat little part of New Smyrna. It's, New Smyrna is almost like two little towns. Over on that side, you can cross over the intercoastal and it's like a whole little town over there. And then as we swing around down this way, that looks straight up through here is Canal Street, which is another part of downtown. This is the actual downtown of New Smyrna. So there's basically kind of two little towns in this New Smyrna, which is kind of unique. little docks they go out here and you can come out here and fish or just hang out enjoy the water and tide's coming in right now because the river on this side is going south the inlet is up that direction so the water's coming in it means the tide is going up incoming tide
continue walking on around the uh, park here. Like there's more people down at this end here. It looks like this is where the uh, fishermen maybe like to go. Like they're done a little bit of work on the bridge. They got a nice little playground over here. Bring the kids out, have a picnic. Shut them off and they can play all day. You can't keep a cow nose ray or a, or a leopard ray. You can keep the butterfly rays and you can keep the stingray. Oh, really? And they're both good eating. So, probably similar to flounder? Not quite. Not quite? Uh, more or less. The way you look at it, the way I look at it, is Poor man's scallop. Poor man's scallop, Pretty okay. Much, yeah. Okay. About the same texture and taste. Same I'll, texture and taste as a scallop, yep. I'll take monkfish and make a poor man's lobster, boil it up and put it in. It's, it's really pretty good and it tastes a lot like, like lobster. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't know. I haven't had a lobster in years. Yeah. I like, I like Florida lobster. Florida, to me, Florida lobster is 10 times better than Maine lobster. That's what I think. And we'll have that argument sometimes. They go, ah, oh, the Maine lobster is like, I don't know. I really like Florida I, lobster. I ate it once and I didn't care for it. Yeah. So, but yeah, I'm with you. I like the I Florida lobster. Florida lobster to me beats, it, it, it's not tough and chewy. It actually has a taste to it. It does have a good flavor. It's all up to give it a flavor. Yeah, a friend of mine used to go down many season down at Keys and keep killing. You get tons of them and well, give me some. I grew up down at the Keys. All I had to do was go down to the docks and talk to a couple of my buddies and I'd walk out of there with a five gallon bucket. <laughs> and they'd give you lobster. That's cool. So when we caught, when, when I was a commercial fisherman, so whenever we caught fish that we couldn't market, we always take them to them to bait their traps with. Oh yeah, yeah. So, you know, they were more than willing to give us a five gallon bucket full of tails every now and then. There you go. That's pretty cool.
fun to listen to fish stories. It's kind of unique how this uh, dock just winds right around and underneath the bridge. Look up. There's the bridge. A neat little round area out here that it's kind of unique. Comes out here in a circle. In the shade, that's what's nice. A lot of these local parks have these uh, docks underneath the bridges, and it's really cool because you're not out in the hot sun, you know. Especially in the next couple months, it'll get pretty hot. <laughs> Boats is where my friend lives. I don't know which one. The lift bridges are about all gone. Uh, there was one up here in Daytona. Uh, that one, they're now putting a new one over it. Um, there's one on Main Street, Daytona, still left. There is uh, where it goes right into town there. That one's kind of iconic. Hopefully, they don't take that one out. Just leave one, you know? I think so, too. Yeah, I think so, too. So, but yeah, they're getting rid of it. Yeah. That way the boats don't have to stop traffic, you know, and go through it. I have a friend that lives in one of those sailboats out there. I don't know which one, but I know he lives. I have a friend that lives in one of these one of these sailboats out here. I live in a sailboat for 18 years. Did you really? When I was still working, I did boat, I did canvas work, upholstery work in boats and that, so. That's a good job. Yeah, no, I didn't pay nothing. Nope, didn't pay nothing. It was a thankless. Well, it does, but it's all materials and stuff, but, uh... Numbers is higher. Popper spot for the birds right here. Everybody feeds them. <laughs> they like the tater chips, but not the cheese puffs. I prefer a potato chip over cheese puff, too. <laughs> little walk here into the playground. A little sign here. Manatee Children's Playground. You got some nice mosaic tiles. 
welcome you to the end of the playground. Atlantic Center for the Arts, made by the ACA Team Volunteers. Pretty cool mosaic, mosaic tile. Nice little covers, make a little shade for the kids. Got wood chips there in case they fall, they don't hurt themselves. That's allowed in this area. I think there's only one way in and one way out. This way they can control the kids. This area is designated for children two to five. Adult supervision is required. Watch your kids. Hey guys, we're gonna head our way back to the car. We did a nice little walk around. Pretty good sized park here, Riverside Park. New Smyrna Beach, Florida. There's a uh, playground over here. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our visit here. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments section. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, I'd like you hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. guys if you uh, want to order some merchandise we have uh, stickers available we have coffee chat mugs and we have t-shirts uh, just click the uh, area in or the description below and you can order it the uh, uh, stickers are five dollars each and uh, you can uh, put your address there and so we know where to mail them to so if you want any merchandise you can uh, 
click the description area.